welcome to this presentation. I'm going to talk about our experiences implementing an automated SUSE reporting system for a pharmaceutical company. We'll have the following content in this presentation. We'll talk about the expectations we had, the implementation. Uh, we will go through a short live demo of the system and I'll have a look at the challenges and the lessons learned throughout the implementation and the use of the system. First of all, I will have a look at the sponsor's duties um, with respect to safety reporting and safety communication to the clinical research sites. I will have a look at the solution that um, we have selected, the reduction of workload at the sponsor, and we'll have a short look at the return of investment. And finally, uh, we will evaluate the increase of compliance uh, using this electronic system. In the section about implementation, we will talk about systems and interfaces, about the rollout, and finally, how does this work, sending out SUSAs to the clinical research sites. And finally, We'll have a look at the experiences and um, um, our, uh, what we've seen while implementing the system and rolling it out, and some experiences with the compliance. First, let's look at the introduction and the sponsor's duties. There are some regulations out there forcing the sponsor to, in, to keep the safety of the subjects in clinical trials um, and to maintain the safety. And one important part is that all new information that is known on the safety profile of an IND, of a new drug, has to be shared with health authorities, ethical committees, and investigators. There's quite a set of directives that, uh, and regulations that apply. I've just listed some of here, starting from a, a tripartite guideline of ICH, um, European Directive, and um, FDA uh, CFR 312.32. I'll not go too much into detail, but um, just to highlight there are two um, guidance documents issued by the EMA and the FDA which in more detail outline how should safety reporting be implemented. If we look at the CFR 21, 1232, it says ID safety reports have to go out to all investigators to whom the sponsor is providing drug under its INDs and as soon as possible, but in no code case later than 15 calendar days after the sponsor determines that the information qualifies for reporting. And this results in a pretty, in a pretty uh, strong um, pressure to deliver information to all investigators involved in a study and that received the drug in an IND study. Additionally, the safety regulations declare that you have to send out this information in uh, a given time window. By GCP, we are required as a sponsor to control that this information is perceived correctly and that we are not done while sending out the information and showing that we send out our mails. We have to show, on the other hand, that this information is perceived properly at the site. So we have to control what happens at the site, although it is a site's responsibility to, um, to take this information and to take appropriate action for it. In the environment where, we have, where I've been working and where we've implemented this solution, we had the following background for our decision to choose an electronic system to distribute safety documents. The sponsor was a sponsor focusing on innovative drugs in rare diseases. This had a, a, some impact on the type of study and the type of safety document SUSAs we had to distribute. First of all, since we had rare diseases, some of the drugs were considered orphan status, 
we had a relatively high number of study sites for the given number of patients. And to get the required number of patients, the global reach, uh, the reach of the studies was very, very large. So we have sites in almost all continents of the world, in Asia, in Europe, and all Americas, and in countries which were not so easy to manage, like Vietnam, like different South American countries. And we had a relatively high number of SUVAs, since the drugs were innovative and the safety profile was not so well known before. So when we looked at the solution for a safety distribution, we were not only focusing on how to send out SUSAs to the sites. Actually, this decision was embedded in a larger decision to find a solution that helps us to collect documents from our remote sites, to collect additional site documents that were required uh, to approve the release of IMP, to have a document share for the study teams, and to have a place uh, where we can document and have online training available. Thank <laughs> you.